Hey folks, welcome to my 2007 Ford Focus. Check out my dream catcher, nice thing. Eh? So uh, everything, pretty much everything works on this car. It's reliable, gets good gas mileage. Uh, but there is one thing I really need to fix before it starts to get cold, and that is the heater controls. Now, when I first got the car, only this one worked. This turns on the fan and turns on the fan speed, and luckily this one still works. Uh, but these two did not work at all. Um, this one seems it moves, but it's like weird and janky, and it literally it doesn't do anything. I've never seen these fans actually work. Um, so that needs to be fixed. And I thought, oh great, well, how much is this going to cost me? You know, like do I have to take it to a mechanic? Do I have to pay? Do I have to take apart the whole dash? Well, luckily, I, I got really lucky on this one. Uh, with the Ford, with this generation of Ford Focus, all you got to do is just take off this this sort of bezel, this this piece of plastic here, and it comes off like effortlessly. I've already taken it off before. It's literally just held in with little plastic clips. You just go boink, 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 and it pops right off. And then there's a unit behind this thing, which is attached to this thing, um, which is called the diverter control unit. And that is literally just a set of pulleys, cable pulleys, that, that manipulates another knob that's like deep inside here. And luckily, that's a part that's on Amazon for $35. So I'm, I've ordered that part, and I will be replacing it. But there is one thing you have to do, in addition to removing the bezel, to get into the where the diverter and the heater core is, like in the dash, you got to remove the radio which is not hard, it's pretty easy. It's like one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, slide it out, disconnect the wiring harness, disconnect the antenna, job's a good one. But I figured since I'm doing that, since I'm doing all that, why don't I just give the stereo a little upgrade as well? So I ordered a really cool double din, seven inch touchscreen, uh, also off Amazon, and I got the, um, installation kit specific to a like a 2007 ford which gives me like the fitting that goes around here and so very shortly once my parts arrive i will be opening this up i will be fixing this and i will be upgrading the radio so this should make for a pretty exciting uh video or series of videos um where I, i'm not really an automotive guy i don't really uh, have a lot of experience fixing cars or taking them apart or anything like that but i do have experience with like pcs and uh soldering and and some wiring stuff and so I, I think it's in my wheelhouse i think i'll be able to do it anyway pretty excited and i thought i would just uh initialize you to what i'm about to do to my car and uh, keep you posted on how it goes all right